Alright family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I have eight tips on why people stay in these loveless, unhealthy, unhappy relationships. Stay tuned. Alright family, thank you so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's question of the day is why do people stay in these unhealthy, unhappy loveless relationships so as i already said in the intro i have eight tips for you so let's go ahead and jump in okay family so let me just first start off by saying that all of these tips are wrapped around fear 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 of the unknown so first tip is they are fearing not knowing what's next so i already know what i'm getting here it's probably going to be something similar out there like this so why go out there and do anything else? And uh, Les Brown talks about this. How come people stay in their known hells versus unknown heavens? And that's pretty much... She's letting you know. She's telling you that you are staying in a known hell versus moving into an unknown heaven. <laughs> but seriously, most people have that super fear of the unknown. So I don't know what's going on over there. So I'm going to stick right here where I'm at. The second thing is that there is always that fear of, am I going to find somebody else? There's always that fear. Even though we hear it a million times, there's so many more fish in the sea. But am I going to find that next fish in the sea? Is he going to be exactly like this same guy that I'm dating? Is she going to be exactly like the same girl I'm dating? Because if that's the case, I might as well just stay right here because I know about this one. I know what this person does. Even though I don't like it, I'm going to stay in this known hell. I'm going to stay in this known, unhealthy, unloveless, uh, unhealthy, unloveless, <laughs> this unhealthy, loveless relationship because I know, I know about this one right here. The third reason I know so many people are guilty of and they are just hoping that things are going to get better or back to the way things were previously when they were happy, healthy, and blissful times versus this unhealthy, unhappy, loveless time. So they're hoping that it's going to get better. And, and a lot of times it don't because a lot of people don't take the time to absolutely work on their relationship. We work on everything else but our relationship. And then we wonder why they don't work. Because we're giving all of our time, energy, and effort to everything else but in our relationship because of fear. Ain't nobody going to get me before I get them. It's all fear. It's all wrapped up in fear. And fear is false evidence appearing real, as my homeboy Les Brown always says. False evidence appearing real. It ain't real. And if you do that thing that you were fearful of, guess what? The fear goes away. Until the next time. The fourth reason why people stay in these loveless, unhealthy relationships is that they do not want to be lonely. Even though they already are. So you're not happy in this relationship, but you're staying because you don't want to be lonely. Because in your mind, the person is absolutely going to come home. So they are a space filler within your household, but you're still lonely. There is no laughing moments. There is no, there are no laughing moments. There are no happy times. There are no jokes. There is no cuddling. There is no, sometimes not even sex. But they're okay with being lonely because they have a body there. Thinking, I'm not lonely. But you are lonely. Again, all wrapped up in fear. Am I even going to find anybody else? How much time is it going to take to find somebody? All wrapped up in fear. I don't want to be lonely, so I'm going to stay in this known hell versus that unknown possible heaven. Number five, a lot of people do this. It's stay in because of the finances. For that convenience of having lower bills, being able to save more money, etc., 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 etc. So you know what? I'm going to keep this body here because I don't want to pay all of these bills by myself. Or maybe I cannot afford to pay all of these bills by myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay here in this miserable situation. This unhappy, unhealthy, loveless relationship. At least for the time being. Maybe you actually get it together. Maybe you never do get it together. As in up here, psychological. Maybe you get it together and say, you know what, enough is enough. I don't care. I'm going to struggle. But guess what? I'm going to have my sanity. A lot of us don't do that. We're like, you know what? I'm going to stay for these bills. I need some help. 
I probably shouldn't have took on this mortgage by myself anyway because I know I couldn't afford it, but it was two incomes at the time. And a lot of us live above our means anyway, but that's a different video. So moving on. The sixth reason is because you are looking to be in any, any, any relationship at any cost. It don't matter what you're losing. It doesn't matter what you're missing out on because you want to be in a relationship. Doesn't matter if it's healthy. Doesn't matter if it's loveless. Because you want that body, because you want to post them sexy pictures or those selfies or the stage pictures that I was talking about in my video, I think two, two days ago. That's why. The social media video. Of course, I'll post it up here and down below at some point in this video. But check out that video on the effects that social media has on the relationships. This is something that I'm talking about as far as the staging goes. As far as let's take a selfie so we can post and let everybody know that our relationship is the biggity bomb. Do, do they use that anymore? Anywho, I do. But I'm just saying. <laughs> so we, we're, we're standing these relationships at any cost. Not thinking about your sanity. Not thinking about, you know what, I actually can make this work on my own, but I don't want to. Or, I'm very fearful. Might not get nobody else. It's all of that unknown. Number seven, a lot of people do this as well, which you do not want to have a, another or a failed relationship. So, you know what? Just going to stay in this one because this one at this point has not failed because we are still in the same household. We're still dating. We're still going out together, whatever it is. But because you don't want to have a failed relationship is another reason why you are staying in that relationship. The last one, and I'm sure everybody was like, I know she's going to say it at some point, And I am. It is here because of the children. Yes, people stay in loveless, unhealthy unhappy relationships all the time because of the children i'm going to say that that is wrong but to each his own it's wrong because the only people that actually um hurt or get hurt in this situation and i'm not saying the only but the main people let me say that the main people that get hurt in the situation when you're staying only for the children ironically is the children <laughs> because you're thinking that you're staying so they can have this two-parent home and what the child is thinking is one of them need to leave because this is a toxic situation. And also they're internalizing that this is the way that relationships go. And it's not. A lot of us are used to those dysfunctional relationships, but that doesn't mean that they're right. It doesn't mean that you can't change. It doesn't mean that you have to continuously do the things that you were shown or um, that you seen as a child. We have to continuously think about breaking those generational curses because they, they are rooted deep in a lot of us. And so if we can save a lot more generations by getting, by getting rid of the generational curses or that it has to be this way, like I have to get smacked in my relationship because my mama got smacked, beatings are good, abuse is good. It's not. Being super loose, as in having all of these men coming in and out of the house with children all around, that's not good. All right, family, don't forget to check the description box below in order to look at my online courses. Of course, check out all of the other video links, the previous video links from this particular video, that all of them that are going to correlate. And, of course, check out the playlist, especially if this is your very first time here. I have all questions for the month of March, and at the end of March, there will be a total of 31 videos within that playlist. And I have that down in the description box as well. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.